Can you feel the, the water level of our faith rising? Is that becoming more tangible to you? It's not just concept anymore. Uh, it's not just theory or just theology anymore. We're getting real, live, concrete evidence manifested in our lives. Now, uh, with that thought, let me uh, cite Michael Van Vlyman from the book Supernatural Transportation. And so he was learning to walk in the Spirit and move, see in the Spirit. And he's outside on his patio. He knows he's in the Spirit. It's at night. He knows he's not there in the flesh. So he's in the Spirit. He's standing beside his air conditioner and he says, God, is this really happening? Is this really real? I may not be quoting him exact, exactly, but this is the sentiment. And so he says, God, I'm going to reach down and grab some of the mulch, the wood chips around the bottom of the air conditioner. I'm going to set them up on top of the air conditioner. And tomorrow morning, I'll come back out when I know I'm in the flesh and I'll see if they're still there. So in the spirit, he reaches down, puts the mulch up on the air conditioner, and then he goes back inside. The next morning it comes out. Well, guess what? There are wood chips on top of the air conditioner. But here is a really interesting insight. There weren't as many wood chips as he remembered putting up there. He says, now God, what is that about? First of all, it was true. What you did in the spirit was a real thing. But here was the takeaway for him. God says, I'm not going to put everything there in the natural that you thought you did in the spirit. Because in the end, I don't want you measuring or validating a greater reality by a lesser reality. The greater reality being the spirit realm, the lesser reality being this tangible physical realm. Bear in mind, Jesus said, you know, if I tell you heavenly things, how will you believe? So I, in that same verse, he go. first of all, he starts out, if I tell you earthly things and you can't believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? The point is, I do have some heavenly things that you won't be able to validate by the natural realm. The natural realm is the lower or lesser reality than the spirit realm. I don't think I will ever forget that takeaway from that illustration in Michael Van Vlyman's life because um, I feel the Lord drawing us. He's calling us up to a higher realm so that we live from something that's greater something that's more real. Now, that being said, God, being our most wonderful Father, He says, I know that you need some tangible things along the way to build your faith. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to come alongside you and give you tangible evidence so that your faith gets established. The water of your faith level, your faith water level, rises, 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 and so you're able to move into uh, moving by faith rather than having to see it. Jesus said it this way, blessed are those who see and believe, but more blessed are those who do not see and believe. So anyway, I think he's just entreating us in a most loving way. He knows where we're at at this point our frame we're just dust and frail and our faith level needs to grow so he says okay i'll give you some things along the way some artifacts he says one of these days you won't need those because those will have been anchored solidly in your belief system 